The Cheap Seats Live Saturday Morning Sports Show on WLCN 96.3 and WLCNOnline.com is brought to you by Jake's Furnishings, 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Furnish your home for less at Jake's. The Grimaldi Law Office, Logan County's only law firm dedicated exclusively to the practice of criminal law. Phone 651-8089. The Christian Village, 1507 7th Street in Lincoln. A community of compassion. Phone 732-2189. Eaton Corporation, America's choice for top quality, high performance electrical equipment for over 50 years. Lincoln College, providing students the best educational experience since 1865. Go online to lincolncollege.edu for more details. St. Clarice Manor, their team's dedication is what makes them special. Phone 735-1507. Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, we're here to help. In Lincoln, call 732-2159. Schneider Chiropractic, 523 North Elm in Lincoln. For the best in chiropractic care and maintenance, call Dr. Alyssa Schneider today, 217-732-2140. Joe Ryan, Country Financial. For all your insurance needs, see Joe Ryan in downtown Lincoln. Or call 217-735-4385. The Hampton Inn in Lincoln. Call 217-732-6729. At the Lincoln Hampton Inn, we love having you here. Lincoln Printers in downtown Lincoln for all your printing needs, including vinyl graphics and banners. Phone 217-732-3121. Lincoln Printers since 1970. Rao Incorporated on North Tickapoo Street in Lincoln. Logan County Chevrolet, Buick and Cadillac dealer since 1953. Phone 735-4444. And by Four Corners Lou for the best full service oil changes, transmission, and radiator flushes, brake service, and lawn care needs, stop by Four Corners Lube at 1101 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Good morning, Railer Nation. Welcome to the Cheap Seats here on 96.3 FM. Good morning, sports fans. Welcome to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We're streaming live on the web at WLCNSports.com. You can also download the on YouTube. You can talk to us on Facebook, Twitter, everything social media we're involved in it all and we are at the hampton inn so what does that mean joe that means waffles and i'll tell you what i really enjoy waffles and they got a new waffle maker a little yeah. individual circle waffles i like it that's you for know. the kiddos on <laughs> that what's for oh, well, it's, not, it's for your dipping dots it's you just dip it in that there you go. dip it in that got syrup. you a bowl full of sugar i mean syrup and some waffles. Some of us are going to get some stuff done today. Jake and I are going to get some stuff done. Like what? There's waffles, a lot to get done syrup, today. Some with waffles. Uh, and lots to do. What are you going to get done at home? I got a zillion things to get done at home. Yeah. Like, name one. Clean up the backyard. That's yeah. the first thing on my project list. Oh, man. Prepare it. Your dad is going to be exhausted. Yeah, I got him over there. He's late now. Poor Jim. I told him to be there by 7 a.m., and he wasn't, so I'll probably cut his pay in half. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he only gets one Jim. beer. <laughs> no, no, and I, I did some uh, some work last week and installed a invisible dog fence, and Ooh, how'd it, it, go? it went fantastic. Really, took him two days to learn. I'm very impressed. With it, it. it took him one little. I mean, it wasn't even the full strength. One little zap, and he knew his territory, and it's been phenomenal. Good. The, the the major test was taking him out in the morning. We have rabbits everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the major test was letting him out and see if he went the full length to get the rabbit. He chased it to the edge. Stop. Turn Put on around. the brakes. Put on the brakes. Cause a boy. He knows when he hears that beep, the next thing that's coming is the zap. I tell you what, it's amazing how that works for them. You know? Yeah. My, my dog's the same way. We don't have the visible fence. I just have a collar. But, yeah, it's the same thing. You beep him and... He knows, he knows something's something's not right, so he better stop. <laughs> well, and, and my wife was kind of skeptical at first. Oh, I don't want him getting shocked. Well, if he learns how to do it, he's never going to get shocked. And so far, so good. And uh, it really works. And it's he's able to go out in the yard and run and get rid of some of that damn energy. <laughs> That's when he's inside. And them labs usually take about uh, what three years, three to five years. <laughs> oh goodness! Before that wears off, but. Well, I, tell you I, what, they're great dogs. Oh, very intelligent, very smart, very loving, and 
Man, look at you. You love your little dog. I don't love you? my little dog. I mean, you know, I'm not. I haven't really had pets growing up, and uh, you know, he's a pain in the butt. Ninety-eight. I like kids. Yeah, 98%. <laughs> well, you're right about yeah. that. Well, I can put him in a kennel. He can't do that to a kid yep. without getting in trouble. Well, you so. can. I was going to say you can. You can, but uh, <laughs> these days. It is and then you have to hope they didn't remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> When they get in trouble, they ask where the kennel's at, at that uh, daycare. Yeah. Uh, kennels at daycare wouldn't go over very well, I don't think. <laughs> no. I think it's been tried, though. Yeah? I believe there was something about that. It's been about four years now, but yeah. Well, do they still let you put them on that little, uh, like if you go somewhere, you can put something around your wrist and around the kid, and then they wander off. you got that cord going yeah. like, a, like a leash. <laughs> like at all the amusement parks and <laughs> yeah. zoos. Yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah, that's, that's funny stuff. It's all tangled up, just like with a dog. We are out here at the Hampton Inn, and like to thank them for having us again. And, uh, you know, it's always fun to be out here, get some waffles, and, uh, you know, talking a little bit off air. This place, man, there's a lot of business that goes through here on the west side of town, and a lot of people that you know in Lincoln that don't know about it. It's pretty busy out here. I don't think we've been out here on a Saturday where, you know, uh-huh. it's not where full. it wasn't packed. Yeah. yeah. So everybody's in there eating waffles. Yeah, so that's a good thing. People traveling up... 55 and uh, swinging through Lincoln to get a night's sleep or something to eat. And, uh, you know, it's a good thing. It's on the, the way to everywhere. Yep. You know what I mean? Speaking of good things, some good things happening at Jake's Furnishings these days. Uh, some remodeling going on. Some, uh, yeah, some a little uh, renovation. Some uh, sales. And before too long, there will be a tent sale, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right around the corner. Summer, <laughs> summertime's coming. And so. uh, your patio. Which means there's going to be a big thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you starting to get in your patio furniture for the uh, yep. of summer. I know uh, it's probably a big time of the year right now where people it get is, in that uh, itch and wanting to get that new patio furniture for. Uh, you know their their uh, decks. Yeah, we've already uh, gotten a few sets in. Had a few sets sell already, and uh, it's uh, already kicking off, man. Every, everybody with that little warm up we've had, it it's, uh, gives them the itch, you know. Absolutely. Gets them out there, and you start looking at your patio and your outdoor set, and people, you know, getting these fire pits more and more. Um, it, it's it's just it's more fun to be outside, Absolutely. you know. And uh, I think that's what people are looking for. They're they're looking for a, a more comfortable alternative that maybe some of the stuff that they purchased in the past that may be a little lesser priced um you want a little bit more quality with a little more comfort and that's <clears throat> kind of what we offer well it's been such a horrible winter oh, and it just brutal seemed, seemed like it's lasted for eight months it's people, still here people are just itching <clears throat> just itching to get outside and you know people usually dread yard work and getting stuff right people yeah. are ready to get out and you know do something <laughs> outside just because this winter is it's, it's probably been one of the worst that uh, I can remember, and it's just uh, yeah, it just it it was a bitter cold for bitter so cold, long. Yeah. Snow, snow, just like I, maybe I yeah. not really icy rain, but rain that was really cold as well, yeah. and, and then snow again. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. let's not leave constant. out the wind and the wind. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's been brutal. So people right now are ready to get outside and enjoy some time outside on some patio furniture. I don't blame them, man. And we, we are doing uh, the outdoor fire pits as well. I sold one of them earlier in the week, which was kind of surprising right off the bat. But, yeah, I mean, there's not a better time, I guess, you, to have it. Yeah. It's early or late. So. You say outdoor fire pits, and these are the no cleaning up ashes type fire no, pits. No, no, these are... These propane are filled? Propane, uh, or you can you can run a natural gas line to them. Um, one way or the other, it does come with the orifices to change out. And then uh, it's got the some of them have little stones and whatnot, rocks in them to put over to decorate them up a little bit. Uh, covers for them, so a lot of them you can use as tables. Uh, they're they're just really cool little items, man. And I is tell it, you what, they're a big hit. Is it more for kind of? visual decoration or do they put out oh, some they heat? Oh, they put off some heat, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can crank, you can do it. You, you can leave them at a, at a lower setting so they're not kicking out near as much of, of your propane and, you know, you could use it, you know, for a few weeks that way. Um, or you can crank it up and you get that heat coming right off there and it's, it's nice. And the best thing is, you know, a lot of people don't like that, uh, sitting around the campfire smell when you're done your exactly. clothes smell for three weeks and this here turn it on turn it off yeah it's, and it's, it's no like, clean up and it's kind of like your grill you know you fire it up and heck you can roast your marshmallows or wieners on there and it's good time i'm good with it that well you guys had a nice little talk there that was fun <laughs> 
Then yeah. I'm going to go back to the campfire you got smell three for three weeks. Of your waffle gun. I'm going to go to the campfire story for three weeks. Well, I don't know where you're close. Well, I mean, it sticks around. You know, it's Joe's sweatshirt's inside out today. Yeah. That means it's about the third day of wearing it's, it. Uh, <laughs> brand new. I put it on this Week morning. Two. <laughs> smell it. Well, it's downy fresh. Downy fresh. Why is, downy it, why is it inside out? He knows why he's doing today, I and he's go. afraid that his dad's going to get it dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and that way he can wear it the right side out for Sunday. I've got him a jumpsuit he puts on when he's over there working. <laughs> yeah. Zips up the front. <laughs> Uh, he, no, full man. mask and everything. <laughs> you know, you work today. You know, you gotta get a little work outside done. There you go. Speaking of being outside, uh, some baseball going on today, guys. Out at All the right. high school, we got a doubleheader versus Matt Toon. Game starting at three. Uh, JV is taking on Matt Toon over at Mike Curry Field, and the varsity will be on the Legion Field today. Uh, concession stands are open. Uh, they're going to be grilling out, and uh, you know, it should be a good day of baseball. I don't know if uh, they kick those times back a little later because of how cold it is or we got some giggling going on here what did i say <laughs> lloyd i'll have it <laughs> nothing go on you're doing wonderful no nah, i'm done you're doing good man cool. take, take over i'm not we yeah, i'm laughing been, at you you know what i've been excited Usually. for a little high school baseball man and softball i'm, I'm yeah. glad they're getting it's out not there starting moving. until three o'clock I, that's what i've been told you were saying? Do you have lights? Because, uh, <laughs> well, don't yeah, get at the lead, at, over that other field, they'll have lights. But I thought it was supposed to rain at like yeah. 6 or start raining around here later in the afternoon. Is it supposed to rain? Yeah. You sure? Well, I'm not a weatherman, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were, it would, I can wouldn't read matter and listen sure to enough. others that are. You, you know what I'm saying? You neither have the. Say it, don't spray it. You don't have the courage or the knowledge to say something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I definitely you know don't have saying? the knowledge. So, yeah, get on out, enjoy some baseball. Uh, phone lines are open, 737-3791. If anybody wants to call in and talk to us about how their baseball program's doing, the softball, we got soccer going on. Yeah, uh, somebody needs to call in for that softball. I know we got games yeah, going on. Yeah, I've, I've looked on uh, usually a lot of information I get off of Facebook. Uh, yeah. We are Railer Nation, but uh, not a whole lot on there uh, as of late. But uh, we do have some tennis news. We have some Railers. They picked up their uh, second win. Uh, they were taking on Eisenhower on Thursday. Thursday, uh, they won six to three, and the JV went one and one in those matches. And uh, Evan Cyrulik, he was a winner, a double winner. He didn't lose a single match. And then him and Logan Warfield, they won their doubles. So nice. You know, congratulations to them. Uh, All right. And then other some other varsity winners. You got Caleb Franklin. I don't know who that is. Sorry about that. No, that was that was, that was me. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Is that on your whiskers? No. What are you doing? I was catching Down myself there. on my sweatshirt. I think. I'm not sure what <laughs> happened. Some other varsity my Lanta <laughs> winners for tennis. Caleb Franklin, Noah Stuckey, and Spencer Martin with a win in the JV. So nice. congratulations, fellas. Uh, a lot of high school sports going on right now. A lot of high school sports that don't get a, a whole lot of recognition, and that would be, you know, your soccer, your tennis, and baseball, softball. And we like to change that. Obviously, we're here for the community. We want to get, uh, you know, how these kids are doing in their uh, their fall sports. But sometimes, or spring sports, I'm sorry. Sometimes it's it's hard to find that information unless you're directly tied to the school, Joe. That's exactly right. <laughs> Quick stuff, weather update for you, out. fellas. We have a weather update. Dun, Currently dun, dun. in Lake Ann, it's sunny and 44. Going to be cooling off uh, later in the afternoon, but not until about 7 o'clock. Rain's not moving in until 10 p.m. 10 so. p.m. And what's the high for today? The high for today is 57. Okay. And that's your news for today. What about that rain? Next in sports. <laughs> Next. <laughs> in sports. In half-ass sports. <laughs> you can't um, can you say, say that. that on the air. <laughs> yes, you can. Have you ever Good listened Jim. to him? Chef number two says it all the time. Jim is worried about his license. <laughs> it's a family show. Seems like they pulled that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. I've heard it before. We are rogue. We could have been talking about donkeys anyway. Nobody's listening anyway. We need donkeys. I'm making waffles. <laughs> These waffles are good. Are they? Are you about done? No. Huh? A little bit left. Okay. Well, we'll wait for you. I'm, I'm needing another refill on coffee. You know, um... Are the Cubs winning? I don't know, but I just I just eliminated half of my agenda, and it's only nine. What time is it? Nine <laughs> fifteen. 
Uh, we'll talk about the Cubs later. Yeah, uh, okay. That's in our we're saving them, but uh, we're going to save that segment that's for, for last. the MLB segment. Yeah. Hey, who did you say baseball team is playing today? Well, everybody's playing today. No, who did you say they were playing? The baseball who? team. Varsity baseball. Oh, team Matt Toon. Oh. Matt Toon, a doubleheader today. That's fine. Uh, yeah, and they're having a pretty good year. The last I looked, they were six and four, the varsity that is, and uh, I think they played Southeast yesterday. Is that correct? Mm. Sound right? Yeah, I think you're right. Away, so I don't, I don't have any information on that. But the last time I looked, they were six and four. So you know, it's above five hundred, a lot better than what the Cubs are doing right now. So. <laughs> Thought we we're going to talk about them later. We are. We are. We'll talk about well, the we should talk about them early in the year because <laughs> oh, really? they will be there later. Well, right now, early in the year, they're not doing so good. So we'll wait till the end of the year when they are. <laughs> or uh, your guys' as Cardinals are down in Mexico playing today against what? the Reds. A uh, a weird day off yesterday had yeah. to be kind of you know no baseball on a Friday. Is just that just doesn't make sense. But that's because it was a travel day. They're down in Mexico playing the Reds, and we'll go over some uh, cards baseball later in the program. I know, you know, Jake's a big card fan, Jim's a big card fan, and Joe, well, he just whatever team's winning. And then, then we have a Phillies fan over there. I'm a so, Cardinal fan. Yeah, you're something, all right. <laughs> Let's take a commercial break. We come back, we'll talk some uh, NCAA basketball as uh, we would have a new national champ. And yeah. see if you guys watch that game, and uh, we'll go over that when we come back. So don't go anywhere. You're in the cheap seats on 96.3 FM. Your tax refund goes further at Jake's Furnishings in Lincoln, and your home will thank you for it. That's right, Jake's Furnishings in Lincoln will outfit every room in your home while saving you money with top quality furniture from Ashley and the full line of Bemco mattresses. Everything's on sale, including sofas, recliners, plush sectionals, complete dining room sets and bedroom outfits, perfect for every budget. This year, use your tax refund on something that will provide your family beauty and comfort gorgeous new furniture and Bemco bedding from Jake's Furnishings in Lincoln. For more details, stop by the Jake's Furnishings showroom located at 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Check out their all-new website at jakesfurnishings.com, phone 735-1212, and become a fan on Facebook. Jake's Furnishings, make it your own. This is attorney Jim Grimaldi. Have you been arrested for DUI? A DUI is a serious offense with potentially severe consequences, which may include jail time, high fines, lengthy periods of probation, even suspension or revocation of your driver's license. The laws regarding DUI are very complex and continually changing every day. You need an attorney with knowledge and experience in handling DUI cases, whether or not this is your first offense. I have vast experience in the area of DUI law. As a former chief DUI prosecutor for Sangamon County, I prosecuted thousands of DUIs and was exposed to every possible defense strategy. Call me and let me put my experience to work for you. Call Grimaldi Law Office now at 217-651-8089. That's 217-651-8089 or visit GrimaldiLawOffice.com. Newly remodeled and completely updated, the Christian Village is Lincoln's only faith-based retirement community and is the area's leader for independent, assisted, and skilled senior living and health care services. The Christian Village at 1507 7th Street offers a wide array of living options for older adults such as independent living, rehabilitation, skilled nursing, and memory care. For a private consultation and tour of the campus, please phone 217-732-2189. The Christian Village in Lincoln, a community of compassion. Join the Growl family. It's Growl right now. Hello, Lincoln and Logan County. This is Chris Grau from Grau Chevrolet Buick Cadillac. During the month of April, Chevrolet is offering some special discounts below MSRP on several of our best-selling models. Now to the end of April, you can get 17% below MSRP on a 2019 Impala, 19% below MSRP on a 2019 Malibu, and 20% below MSRP on a new 2019 Equinox. These offers are for well-qualified buyers that may not qualify for all offers. 
See dealer for details. To get more information on these and our other offers on new Chevrolets, Buicks, and Cadillacs, call us at 217-735-4444, visit us on the internet at www.growling.com, or visit us at 1905 North Kickapoo Street in Lincoln. Come join the Growl family, it's Growl right now. Spring is in the air, and there's no better time than now to get into Four Corners Lube in Lincoln and experience the full line of Husqvarna and Grasshopper lawn machines, products, and accessories. While you're at Four Corners Lube, check out the zero-turn mowers along with battery tools, trimmers, and much more for all of your landscaping needs. With special pricing and incentives happening now, you don't want to wait. Four Corners Lube is also your home for the professional in-and-out oil change every Monday through Saturday, where you don't need an appointment. For more information about the great deals on everything Husqvarna and the Grasshopper, stop by Four Corners Lube at 1101 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln and phone 735-2761. Hi, I'm Dr. Alyssa Schneider with Schneider Chiropractic, located at 523 North Elm Street in Lincoln. I would like to announce the addition of our new chiropractor, Dr. Julianne Popish, to the Schneider Chiropractic team. I want to thank everyone for the confidence they have shown me the last five years. At Schneider Chiropractic, we strive to provide quality, affordable, holistic health care with individual, one-on-one care and treatment plans in a professional, private environment. With the addition of Dr. Julianne Popish and our late office hours, we at Schneider Chiropractic are able to help more patients get ready for everything life has to offer. For more details about all the options we provide and to schedule a private consultation, phone us today at 217-732-2140. We look forward to getting you back on track. Join the happy folks who choose the beautiful Hampton Inn Hotel in Lincoln, Illinois. Part of the Hilton Family Hotels, you'll love all the luxury and amenities the Hampton Inn Hotel in Lincoln has to offer, including a delicious full hot breakfast served every day, an indoor heated pool and whirlpool, along with competitive rates on wedding and reunion blocks all year long. So don't wait. Reserve your stay at the Hampton Inn Hotel in Lincoln or schedule your complimentary tour and consultation for your business meetings and events. Phone the Hampton Inn Hotel at 217-732-6729. That's 217-732-6729, 24 hours a day, and go online to lincoln.hamptoninn.com. Just off Interstate 55 at exit 126 at the Lincoln Hampton Inn, they love having you there. This is Tom McCarthy for the Philadelphia Phillies, and you're listening to Cheap Seats on WLCN 96.3 FM with Joe, Jake, and Shabadoo. Tell you that right now. What was this? Breakfast Club? No. Men without hats. Who are it? Who is it? We know? Anybody know? Reno. Reno. Aha. Aha. Aha was the name of that band. Yeah. Gosh, you could have been in a band called Aha. Uh-huh. You know what nah. I'm saying? Nah. Uh, you could have Welcome. put a little midriff shirt on. Welcome back to cut the Cut sleeves seat. out. Cut sleeves off. <laughs> Been the drummer in that band. Where? Wristbands. It's just a bunch of nonsense. Cubs wristbands and a sweatband around your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Masters time, boys. Uh, Masters going on right now. Phone lines are open 737-3791 if you want to call in and tell us what's up because we don't know what's Talk up. Talk golf. What's up? Talk some golf. I know there's a, a lot of... Uh, Golfers around Lincoln, Logan County, and uh, I and know the Masters they're very, fun. very interested in the Masters. And uh, you want to call in, tell us who your golfer is. Uh, right now, who's the leader? Oh, there's like four or five. It's right here, but I pronounce that <clears throat> name. Pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Please help. <laughs> Please help. No, hey, he's not even going to say the big O's name. That's a tough one. No. That's our cut our uh, customers, our listeners' favorite part right there. Yes. 
what the intros from commercials yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too and, <laughs> it's my and then when part. it's over it's the worst like, part <laughs> yeah wrong <laughs> now my ears about to bleed welcome back to cheap seats and we do have a special guest with us this morning and uh, go ahead and introduce yourself <laughs> wrong <laughs> he's not special <laughs> No, oh, nothing, nothing. I thought you, you got be nothing. Guest. I was waiting for some guesses. Oh, wrong, Jim. No. Wow, how long has it been? Wrong. No. Um, Tito San Martinez. Is it Joe Ryan talking to you about insurance? Wrong. <laughs> oh, you need life insurance. You need life insurance. <laughs> if I had a crystal ball. Boy, I can't believe you guys missed and this. And I knew. I know. What is it? You guys don't know. Would no. you wait? What guy says wrong? Ed McMahon. Nailed it. Yeah. Put it yeah. in. Is that right? That is correct. Wasn't it our current president? What? No. Is Barack Obama Jim's the only one president? to do it. Who's our president? Jim's the only one. We Jim's the smartest guy out of this whole crew. <laughs> it's because he's got Google. He's got the Googles. I thought he was going to pull something up, but. Oh, no. I no, oh, I God. thought he was actually going to play. What Trump kept saying really kept oh, battered him, and he no, kept we, wrong. We got that. It was, it was just a horrible I'll tell you what, yeah. guys are, That was horrible. That was really bad. You want to try again? No. Just no. do something good no. this time. I'll figure another one out. I could be a lot of people, but a lot of people wouldn't get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and eat your little uh, cupcakes over there, Lloyd. How many of those did you get? My land. It doesn't matter. How many you know, when, you on the plate? when you stay at the Hampton Inn here, Joseph Patrick Ryan, it's endless buffet. It's an endless buffet. Oh. Plus their coffee. They have robust coffee as well as the regular and the decaf over there. All it's, the coffees you need. It's good stuff. It good. really is. This nice. place is nice. All right, moving on, guys. Uh, on. We got a new national champion here in the NCAA basketball world and the Virginia and the announcements of the mass exodus of all the underclassmen <laughs> taking off for the NBA. Yeah, there's a holy cow. Yeah, it, 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 there's going to be a an overflow of uh, talent entering the Look NBA. There. this I tell year. you, I tell you what, though, this is a good year to have a higher draft pick in the NBA. I feel like, I feel like this class is extremely deep. A lot like the LeBron James class. Yeah, back it, in the day with Wade and Bosch and all of them. Uh, yeah, it's deep. And then, I mean, looking even so? into next I year as is, well. Yeah. yeah. The next, uh, yeah, the NBA, I don't watch NBA. I don't know if you guys do at all. but I just A little bit. I don't. I watch zero of it. If, yeah. I mean, I don't even stop. And if it's on my TV, I just really click off of it real quick. You know what? I, I like some it's, of the, the teams that are less and less talked about, I guess. Uh, I, I, I say that because I'm, I'm not a big NBA fan. So I, I, I feel like they're less talked about. But like, like Boston. Uh, uh, Oklahoma City, uh, Houston. I like watching those teams play. I think I think they're entertaining. Uh, I feel like they play a little harder than than some of the other teams, and maybe they have to to compete. I don't know, but it just uh, I, I do kind of like watching those guys. Yeah. Well, then tell us a little bit about NBA. That's about all I got. <laughs> An NBA, do you just get four steps, or can you have? Four? I think it's it's unlimited steps as long as you make the basket. All right. Well, hold on. It, it's all it's all on the on a percentage of your name notoriety. Yeah, yeah. I feel as though. Yeah. So, so, do it's the a progressive defiance. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Is that Nixon? Close. That's Nixon. Which is <laughs> Nixon? Yeah. But uh, basically, <laughs> basically, <laughs> what, what I'm getting in at simpler here, terms. If you're if you're LeBron or uh, one of those guys, you know, with the higher name recognition, James you, Harden, you may, Westbrook, you may get three to five and up to seven steps. <laughs> <laughs> Not more than half court. <laughs> more than half court. Yeah, I've seen some highlights. Also, you may get additional um, length contact. Contact. Uh, to secure you either being fouled or not fouling somebody. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm. Well, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it doesn't. <laughs> but the playoffs draft. are here, right? They are here. And how did we and, go? And, no, hold on, though. Let's how go back to this NCAA go, tournament. Yeah, how did we go from that to NBA? I don't know. Well, you guys jumped into it. He did about the freshman class. 
Gosh. Now, he yes. cyber jumped on us. I apologize. And you know what? I'll, um, I'll sit over here and juggle. I We talked earlier about this. The officiating in these games, I think, is unbelievable. I think they're going to have to go to a five-man crew so they can see everything. Because oh, you're tell you going what. from three to five? Yeah. Not, let's not mess with four. No. Five. Four's not going to help. Five. Where are you yeah. going to put the fifth? I don't know. Right one on, right one on each end that doesn't move. How about a float? Hang a guy. Stand right in the middle Standard of the court. Right there. Hang a guy that floats above the court like that. Two Just guys. Well, you'd have to have two of them, one on each end. Yeah. There's yeah. Like that thing in Vegas where you get in. And Let's do that. I, yeah, I thought the officiating, and it goes both ways, but there's just no consistency. Well, and, I, and I don't know how you can ever get it. I don't think you can fix it. But it's, it's, it's human uh, error. It's human error. That's all it is. It's what makes the game interesting, my friend. Yeah. All of a sudden, you think you're making No, I'm actually talking about the, the instant replay with baseball the other day. There was a, there was a replay. They, the, the coaches back and said, no, he is safe. We can't review that play. I was like, well, that was a waste of three, four minutes right there. You yeah. know, it's, I mean, I feel like it could be the same way with basketball. Like how, how would that kill the flow of a game? I mean, but basketball, so than, much more so than baseball, is, is driven by, you know, a three-minute standoff waiting for a call by a referee to see if it bounced off another guy's foot. Well, let's take it another step further. <clears throat> you know, you got a well, game. I tell you what, that's game, got so touchy, too, though. Yeah, a game on the line. I mean, throw it. going to be – the games are going to last longer. There's going to be... You can watch any game, and there's at least six times in every game that you're left in that says they, that you only get so many a game, I would think. Yeah, Otherwise, God. like I said, with the NFL... Challenging every... As hand-checky as they go nowadays, it's... Right. I feel like you could extend a game an extra hour Yeah. by doing that and, and win a majority of your challenges. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's just certain periods of the game. Maybe the last, you know. How can you say in the middle of a third quarter where teams been down, hasn't had any success, and all of a sudden they got back to back to back to back first downs, throw up a, a kind of a hail mary situation. They they throw a flag on it, then they have to pick it up, challenge it, maybe take it back. That momentum's gone. All right, rewind. Now back to basketball. <laughs> back it up. Did you guys watch Beep. the national championship? Beep. Virginia, Texas Tech. Yeah. Uh, this the whole. I, I think the whole tournament. You know, overall, now you get on the track where, well, do you really always want to recruit those five star kids? Obviously, yeah, because they're a good talent. But you get the three and four star kids. They're going to be around two, three, four years, and you know bond as a team and gel and then this is where your other teams start to rise i know illinois they have high expectations next year i watched one of the recruits last night kofi cockburn yeah. he was in the uh the nike uh what do they call that nike something yeah basketball game yeah it was, <laughs> oh boy he is big really yeah and can move uh got he's got good footwork he's got He's got to improve on his shot, but that's how he moved and what he looked like. And but the future's bright. You got to be excited for him, you know. And I mean, I, they need to do yeah. something about. You that. know what? No, I don't think one Williams there for three or four years. Right. You know, I I, I agree. You know, four years who are gelling together and or you know or, we or elite. Yeah. Hey. Go back through. What? <laughs> <laughs> gelling I mean, together. You, like you, you, you look group that they get. Every game where you know you're wearing winning multiple championships, right. you know, and it opens it up for uh, for the other teams to sneak they're lowered their happen until after next year. Because they're only in some cases worked a lot of scenarios that that did not work. Let's say the New York Knicks or yes. franchises that you Tyson Chandler eventually became a of dollars and not knowing how to handle things yeah. and as he would have been if he would have went to college right. and gotten that kind of a college atmosphere uh, you know it, it could have been better now you look at a guy like Kevin Garnett though and he just you know if somebody's dangling millions of dollars in your face it'd be having <laughs> <laughs> taking the money <laughs> if I flop I flop I'm still rich I'm still rich yeah several weeks into it and we haven't really touched base on any of it uh -huh, no pun intended uh <laughs> i guess we're about two weeks into into the season and you know how's your how, how do you cub fans feel right now uh, off to a kind of a slow start five and eight uh bullpen not looking looking better after even here joe <laughs> 
But uh -oh. uh, a rough start to Probably the Probably a rough decade for him, actually. No, well, yeah, whatever. Could be a rough century the way things are yeah. shaping out. Well, you Cardinals, you guys are only 8-5, and five and Ozuna doesn't know how to track down a fly ball. That I you tell you what, he had a couple experiences <laughs> out there in the outfield. I was like, you know what? That's entertaining. It was entertaining. Extremely frustrating as a Cardinal fan. <laughs> And wondering where, where that was a can of corn. Oh, it should have been. <laughs> he, he, he. I will say he did not read that one right. No, he did not. Boy, it was. That. I tell you what, I hate that beard he's got too, with the with the mocha color going down the middle of it. Yeah. I don't know what that all about, but yeah. it's his thing. That's just like being a cardinal. I know. will say though, oh, that's uh, just being a cardinal. I, I, I will say though, <laughs> uh, old. Uh, he kind of got sat down for a couple games, and they uh, said he was dealing with some stuff. Came back, and he has been hitting the ball well. You guys took care of uh, the Dodgers, who were ranked there. Boy, I tell you what, before they they played the Dodgers, or before they played the Dodgers, the Dodgers had hidden, hidden at least one home run in every game, and they were killing the ball yeah. and killing teams they were playing. I mean, they were on fire and. Uh, had some good breaks there. I mean, to you know, pull off some wins. Yeah. So I mean, that National League Central is pretty tough. Yeah. You know, you got Milwaukee. They're a freaking solid baseball team, and then Cards and the Cubs are going to come around. They will. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a well, tough and, division. And, and Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh's not a walk in the park. No, they've got and, some and, solid pitching. And Cincinnati, you're going to see Cincinnati's growing up right now, right in front of us. Yeah. They're going to be fun to watch. Yeah, it's uh. It will be fun. It should be a fun season as uh, it's still early, only two weeks in. Uh, the, the Cubs beat the Angels yesterday, and they will be taking on the Angels again today. And Angels without their superstar, Mike Trout, having some uh, growing issues. Oh, and that's uh, something. Good for you. <laughs> good for the Cubs. <laughs> Who else had a homer yesterday, though, for you Cardinal fans? What yeah. was that? That's what I thought. He's already grown. He's still growing it. Yeah, but he's Before having trouble. <laughs> Man. I think you know that was groin or groin. Groin. What is it? Groin. Groin. It's go. a groin. G R O I N. I just didn't say it right, of course, because I don't say a lot of things right. Cue it up, Lloyd. Cue it up. Make something stupid about it. Manito. <laughs> yeah, his his manito's hurting. <laughs> Anyway. But, yeah, Pools hit a home run. He's uh, climbing the ranks there the, <laughs> in the home run club. Next, yeah. I think next on the list will be uh, Willie Mays. 666. 660. Yeah, I believe Willie Mays is next on the list for him. So, And he's about uh, 21 away. He's 39 so. years old. How much longer is he going to play? Well, he's got two more years on that contract, I believe. Is it two or three? Uh, is it four? Yeah. Uh, it's three. He's got three years left. Yeah, 20, wow. 2022, I believe it will be his last year. So at least three more years. And then he may want an extension. <laughs> I, I don't think he'll get it. Why wouldn't you? But Now, he's not an everyday player, is he? He's a DH or? DH, he's not playing much first anymore, no. Too many, too many legs. So, I mean, right injuries. now he's in Chicago. So do you see him playing first all, all series or? I don't, Three days I don't, in a row, probably I don't think not. He can no. no. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, but I, I don't I guess think we'll he can. find out. I, I haven't seen him play. Yeah, actually, I really haven't seen him play three games in a row in a while. No, I mean, even as a DH. Say origin. 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 Is that Paula? Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> now they're giving you words to say. Yeah, give me another one. Come on. Now I'll say Orphan, cinnamon, orange drink, aluminum. <laughs> Orange drink. Orange drink. Nailed it. Go. I mean, keep them coming. Let's Nailed go. it. Portland Origin. Yep. Portland Origin. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I don't know. Thanks, guys. Make me feel real good about myself. <laughs> All right, Louis, or, uh, Joe, you're up. Finish the show. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, the Cardinals are going to win. They're going to have to score more runs. The pitching is going to have to come around. They are. Yep. And if Tiger's going to win, he's going to have to birdie some holes, get away from the bogey, and I think he throws up an eagle. Today or tomorrow, you will see an eagle out of Tiger Woods. <laughs> Did he, here was comes the eagle, Tiger. eagle rotten that he threw it up? I and mean, what kind of eagle was it? He's just going to throw it up. Like up ball and down. eagle? He's going to two on. You can't eat eagle. He's going to two on a four. He threw up an eagle. Tiger Woods is going to win this Masters, fellas. That's the one since 2005. I, I, Woo! Did you Let's hear go, a, Tiger. Did you even hear a word he You said? heard it here first. 
Anyway, it was it was a lot of. I heard. Go Tiger. Rick Flair's in the house. Wrong. Let's go. It's well, time to end this. I gotta get my dad some more bricks. Uh, we got one more minute. Finish it up. I got him moving bricks. <laughs> moving him, bricks. He gets us more bricks to move. Concrete blocks. I got him doing the heavy work early. He he tires out. I get him do the heavy work early. He tires out. Oh, it sure does. <laughs> All right, it is it is time for us to go. We are once again at the Hampton Inn. I'd like to thank them for having us today. It's always a pleasure coming out here. I know Joe loves it because uh, he gets his waffles. Yes, I do love it. He Waffle does mania. Love it. Waffle Mania. Uh, and our fans that sit around and listen to us. I mean, they're... Hey, hey guys. Uh, good people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, cleared them all out. We ran them all out. Now they got food to throw away. <laughs> Cardinals and the Reds. They're down in Mexico. Mexico. Had to climb the wall to get there, didn't they? Wrong. Uh, wrong. <laughs> uh, wrong. Uh, they're down in Mexico playing. And what time is that game today? What's Mexican time? We don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> it's at 8 o'clock. Aha. Uh-huh. Now, do we know what time they play? No. no. All right. Well, not true Cardinal fans then. I believe it's at 3.15. 3.15. Is that central time? That would be central time. Okay. What's that in Spanish? 3.15. Uh, I, I don't even know either. <laughs> And the Cubs are at home against the Angels, so hopefully Cubbies can get on the uh, right track. The uh, NFL draft coming up, we'll talk about that maybe next week and uh, see who your favorites are in the uh, in the draft. That's going to do it for us here at Hampton Inn. Next week we'll be at the Jakes, maybe uh, maybe Jake. outside on some new Ooh, patio furniture, nice. Nice. maybe in a or maybe area. in a new part of the building. We'll Possibly. see. Possibly. Possibly. All right. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next week. Good day. The Cheap Seats Live Saturday Morning Sports Show on WLCN 96.3 and WLCNOnline.com.